I think my first stop today is going to be this new piece of track that we've had just over to my right and also the brand new splashdown track that has gone in over the past few days. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome back to yet another Project Exodus slash Hyperia construction update. That's right, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here on the site of the UK's tallest roller coaster. And yeah, in today's video, I have so many updates to share with you. Since the last update that I uploaded to this channel, we've had loads and loads of track sections go in, including the splashdown part of the ride so I'm so excited to go and show you guys that it's looking amazing there's also work taking place on the station and maintenance building as I speak um, the first bits of gold are being put onto those buildings and also the crew that are actually putting up the coaster itself are currently again as I speak working on the support structure down towards the start of the site but yeah before we get into things today take a look at these amazing photos that I've been sent by a very good friend of the channel, Danny. Danny is actually part of that coaster construction crew, which means he's one of the people that goes up in those massive cherry pickers. Um, he was putting together this insane twist element, which is just above me right now. And yeah, he was kind enough to send me and the park over these photos um, to share with you all. Cause yeah, it's an amazing view from up there. And it's a view that very few people at this point have been able to get, obviously once the ride opens, we'll all be going around on this coaster and we'll be able to take in these views for ourselves. But yeah, fair play to Danny and the rest of the crew that are building this coaster. Um, Cause they're up at these insane heights and just a tiny little cherry picker, obviously working away day after day to make sure that this coaster is ready for us to ride in 2024. I think my first stop today is gonna be this new piece of track that we've had just over to my right and also the brand new splashdown track that has gone in over the past few days. So I have to admit, I'm kind of struggling as to where to start this next segment because I want to show you this brand new bit of track that they've just put in, but I don't know where to show you it from because it just looks so impressive from every angle. The bit of track that I'm talking about is just above me up here and this is the final kind of big element I'd say on this ride. Essentially this part of the ride is when you come out of the splashdown, which I'll head to in just a sec, and then you get this final wave turn before you then head into the track that I've shown in the past few episodes where it curves around um, and then you go into this airtime hill into the final break run. But yeah, this is a track that I of course saw being delivered to the site at the end of my last construction update. It was these bits of white track here. And of course, as I've said many times in these updates, when we see this white track, it means that that is above tree level. So it's always a nice and high bit of track. It's always very exciting. They're often very twisted and stuff. And yeah, this white track is definitely very twisted. Unfortunately, the angle where I'm at now isn't the best to show you kind of the insane twisting on this. So let me try and get a little bit closer. Obviously, I'm going to have to trek across the muddy site as always. <laughs> if we look up now, as you can see, we're going to be coming out of the splashdown. We're then going to be going up this bit of track. And then once again, similar to this insane twist element, you're basically going to be thrown outwards whilst moving in the other direction. And yeah, it's called a wave turn because it kind of feels like a wave, like you go the opposite way than you technically should. Because obviously the direction that you're going is kind of up and round that direction, but the bank is throwing you out this way. So yeah, you're gonna get some amazing forces on this part of the ride. And yeah, it's literally one of the last points of the ride. So it's a short layout, as I'm sure you guys know with Iberia, but it's literally gonna be packing in the fun and the exciting elements right till the end and of course you've only got a lap bar so you the forces you're gonna get on this this little element of the ride are absolutely 
Brilliant. Yeah, let me take you a little bit closer to the splashdown element, because yeah, obviously they've been working in this trench for months now. They have obviously had to dig it out, they've been draining water out of it, they've been putting concrete in, and finally, we've got some track that has gone in to this splashdown by the ride. Absolutely fantastic to see. How cool is that? You can see exactly where the ride's gonna come down. They built the support structure for it. The ride's gonna come down there and then you're gonna glide along what feels like the lake. Obviously it's gonna be um, kind of fake because uh, they've got concrete walls going in all around this. And then the lake, the actual lake will kind of be surrounding it. I was just chatting to one of the workers who said that all of the concrete on site has now been poured apart from this concrete wall which is surrounding this track here which is a fantastic milestone obviously you've got to think all of these supports are concrete a lot of the groundwork has been concrete like there's so much concrete that has to go into a site like this like i'm literally standing on concrete right now um, and this is the very final bit of concrete that has to be poured So I've made my way all the way back down to the start of the site now where, as I've said, construction is currently taking place on this massive support structure. We've got some white supports going up. And again, if it's a white support, it means it's going nice and high above the tree level. So yeah, I'm gonna head up to the site office balcony so we get a better view of the actual coaster construction in a minute. But yeah, I'm currently stood next to the maintenance shed, which has now had all of its walls put into place, but as I mentioned at the start of the video today, we got our very first bits of gold going on there, which is very cool to see. This is obviously all of the details that are gonna be added to these buildings, because they're not just gonna be left as these kind of black sheds. They are gonna have kind of gold detailing on them. And yeah, hopefully I'm gonna be able to head to the factory where some of this gold steel and like parts of the queue line are actually being fabricated. So that'd be really cool if I managed to get down to the factory to see that, that's exciting. But yeah, you actually get a really cool view of the station from here. I haven't actually come and seen this view for absolutely ages. So this is new to even me, but it's so cool to see right through to the break run there. And yeah, obviously all of the track is now in place in the station. In fact, all of the walls on this left side of the station are in now. Um, and again, they're not just kind of this black paneling all the way along. That's got some kind of a nice detailing on there, as you can see. So yeah, all of the infrastructure in terms of a station and maintenance shed to my right are happening. They're coming along very nicely. In fact, we've got a nice little door just over here. So I might just poke my camera in there and see if we can see anything cool within this building. As I said, I haven't been over to these two buildings this close for a very long time, but there's not really anyone working on here currently. So I'm able to get nice and close. But yeah, let's have a look how it's looking inside the actual maintenance building. Look at that. See, so yeah, obviously, as a member of the public, you'll never really care what goes on in here, but this is where they're gonna be storing trains when they're not being used and kind of doing any maintenance on those trains that they need to do. Talking of the trains, um, I know a lot of people are very excited to see those for the very first time. Currently, unfortunately, I have no news as to when these trains are gonna be delivered here to the park, but of course, you guys know, as soon as they do touch down on Fort Park soil, I'll be filming a video showing you those very exciting trains for the first time. But yeah, unfortunately, no date or no news on those yet. Obviously, the people building the ride know, but I unfortunately don't know yet, so I can't share that with you. So yeah, just as the sun starts to set, as you can see, they're putting this big, big white support, which as you can see has many connecting points to it, into place. So I'm gonna head up to the site balcony just over here and get a better view of all of this work taking place. So they actually brought down that big white support and made a few adjustments to it before then moving it back up into place where the workers are currently um, obviously bolting it into position. But yeah, we've currently got loads more um, support deliveries coming into site. We just had this big gold one pull in. 
So yeah, it's all very exciting indeed. Seeing the support tower grow is very cool because obviously, as I've said, this support tower is eventually going to be about the same size that this twist down the lower end of the site is. It's going to be absolutely massive. And yeah, you can see just how many kind of connectors there are on this white one alone. So yeah, this whole structure is just going to be such a mess of supports. It's going to be like spaghetti, the amount of supports that are coming out of this big structure. Um, but obviously the track goes into this part of the site many, many times. Obviously the first drop goes into a big section here. And then once you come out of this twist, you come back into this area. So yeah, it's definitely a very busy part of the roller coaster ride. But naturally there's going to be a lot of supports holding up all of that track. But yeah, that brings me to the end of yet another Hyperia construction update. I've had a fantastic dive on site today, obviously seeing the splashdown um, and then being able to see this new bit of support structure go up. It's all very exciting. So yeah, be sure to subscribe for even more Hyperia updates as and when anything here on site happens, I'll be here to update you guys. And I'm also going to be starting a brand new series very soon, um, looking at all of the other updates around the rest of Fort Park. Because obviously so much is happening over this winter period um, in the park, both in regards to Colossus, Angry Birds Lands, Project Sparkle in general. It's a very, very busy winter period here at the park. So yeah, be sure to subscribe for not only Hyperia updates, but also general Fort Park winter updates from within the park, of course. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching this episode. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And otherwise, my name's Axel Stone. Goodbye.